age teamers welcome to physics labs I'm so grateful for all the electricity in my house it's as easy as flipping a switch and you get to make circuits from home today have a great time to make this circuit make sure you roll your lemons to make them nice and juicy so for this one for this lemons you can either use a copper penny obviously a penny or a two inch copper wire and just stick it in to the lemon just like that and since we have four lemons we're gonna put all four of these but if you want you can also use a penny and after you put in all the copper wire or yeah two inch copper wire then you're gonna want to get zinc zinc nails and just put it into the other side just like so and you're gonna do that with how many lemons you have so it looks like they are becoming something with antennas. And that is the second step. So now for this third step, you're just gonna need, now that you have all your plumpy, juicy lemons with antennas, now you can use alligator clips. And for the example, for the first alligator clip, we're gonna put one onto the zinc. And we're gonna put the second one onto the second alligator clip clip onto the second lemon copper. Sorry, this is opening up. Just like that, and you're gonna repeat that. Move this over here. You're gonna repeat that for all the lemons. So let's get a black one. Oh, now you have your battery source. So now that we have got our battery source, all we our power source, now all we have to do is since we have one more zinc nail sticking out, we're gonna get one more alligator clip, or we're gonna need two, but for now, for one, we're just gonna attach it on just like we did with the other ones. And now we're gonna put it on this LED light bulb. And hopefully I don't burn off my finger. That's why there's no light because the circuit is not complete yet. So, now we gotta do it for the other side as well. So put it onto this copper one. And then we put this onto the second one. And there it turns on, our little LED. So that's how you make your lemon battery source to power up an LED. You don't need me to run with my horsepower. <laughs> so after we made our circuit, now we're gonna make a series circuit and all you have to do is get one more alligator clip and one more LED bulb. So now you're gonna detach one alligator clip. As you can tell, it turned off because it's not complete yet. And now we're gonna add this to the second. Oh, second LED. And then we're gonna get our last alligator clip. We're gonna connect it to the end of this one. And now we're gonna connect it. Let me take this out a little. And now we're gonna connect it to this one. So we're gonna hold it here just in case. Make sure this is good. And they're not lit. So you, if it doesn't work, if the LEDs don't glow up or turn on, you might need to add more, so I'm gonna add four more lemons. So all we're gonna do is now we're using the pennies, and just like we did, oops, dropped one. We are going to do the same thing for this one. Just stab in a zinc, stab in a penny. Pennies are a little harder, especially when you don't have muscles like me. So for us, the four lemons didn't work for the series circuit, so we had to add four more, but this time we used the pennies, and if it doesn't work, it's because you need more power, aka you need more lemons, and more alligator clips, obviously, to attach them, but now it works, thankfully. <laughs> this is a series circuit because the light bulbs follow each other one to another. So obviously you can make a circuit with a kit, this is how bright the light bulb is with a simple circuit. 
This is how dim the light bulbs are in a series. Why do you think that is? Now look at how bright they are in a parallel circuit. You could build yourself a conductivity tester with a simple circuit like this. As you can tell, it goes through the metal and lights up the light bulb. So now we're gonna try a clip. And as you can tell, I'm touching the plastic and it's not working because plastic is not conduct conductive. Now let's see if the metal part works. Try to get, oh, there we go. It's shining a little bit, there we go. As you can tell, metal is conductive, so it is working. That's pretty cool. So now, now that we know that the paper clip, the plastic is not conductive, and the metal part is kind of, we're gonna try wax. And obviously you cannot tell, or you can tell that wax is not conductive. But what happens if we try the aluminum? And there we go. Aluminum is a type of metal, so it is conductive. Now, now that we know that aluminum is conductive and wax is not, we're gonna try wood. And it's not working because as you can tell, the only things that are lining up are the metal parts. And now we're gonna try, since the wood is not conductive, now we're gonna try the metals, which should work. And it's not working because they are not connected. But if we just touch one, should work. And there we go. Since these are not like a full line connecting, it cannot go through the metal and back into the light bulb. So obviously that's why it doesn't work. But since the metal is just right here, it's going to the metal and then coming out through the other wire. One last item to test is this little, not sure what to call this, spring. And obviously, now that we know aluminum is conductive, metal is conductive, we're gonna see if this is conductive. So we just touch there. Mm. Oh, yeah, it's kind of working, hold on. Make sure to get this. There we go. Obviously, because this is either probably aluminum, something like that, or uh, metal, it is conductive because it allows electrons to go through one side and back to the other side of the battery. All right, HTVers, I hope you had so much fun playing with all the physics experiments. Don't forget to share them with all our social medias. Hey, everybody. Don't, Don't forget, forget to like and subscribe. Thanks.